Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, I'm going to show you how you can fix the SMG pump light on your E46 M3. Yes, that light popped up to me the other day and I've addressed it. I'm going to show you how I did it. As you can see from the title, yes, I had an SMG light on the car. Now, before I show you about how you can address that, let me show you a little bit about the background on the situation itself. So I was driving from work and then I started hearing some noise around the transmission area here and the diff area. So somewhere around here I was hearing some clicking. Now, so I wasn't sure where it was coming from. So what I did, I parked the car. After I parked the car, turned it off, waited maybe one or two minutes, turned the car back on, waited again, no noise. So I started driving back and I started hearing the noise one more time. I parked the car a second time, turned it off, wait about five minutes. When I turned the car back on, I had the SMG light on. Now, that was the first time that I see the light, never seen a light like that before. So I did a quick research on the car right in there and I found out that that was the SMG light. I was afraid that, oh my God, I have to change the SMG pump. I have to do all these big item maintenance that I was kind of planning to do, but I wasn't ready to do them like right now. So I drove the car home, magically the noise stopped happening and the SMG light also went away when I turned off the car a third time and turned it back on. So when I got home and I did some research, I find out how you can easily fix this issue. Now, I did address this issue already. I'm going to just show you the steps that you have to do to fix it. I needed to make sure that it works before I can actually film it for you guys. Now, if you don't know what the SMG light is, I'm going to show you that in a second. But before I do that, let me make sure that you subscribe to the channel if it's the first time you stop by and also like this video if you like this type of content. Now, I do these videos every Sundays. If you come to the channel, you will see a brand new video about this car, the F80 M3 or the E36 M3 that I have outside this is the smg light that little gear thing with exclamation mark that is the smg light i know it, it went away really quick but i wanted for you to see it that is the smg light that's what it looked like so that day all i had was my regular huh, light that i need to fix right there and then i also had that light right there to fix that SMG light, you have to check a few things on the car. The first thing that you have to check is to ensure that you have enough fluid right here on the SMG pump fluid reservoir. This is the reservoir right there. So when you undo this cap, you can see the reservoir there. Now, the way you actually check the level is not as simple as just checking your oil level where you just remove and look. This one, because the level goes up and down, you have to make sure that you prep the car. So to prep the car, what you do is you put the car in an arc mode, meaning you turn two times, and then you let the SMG pump kind of do its thing. Once the SMG pump is done doing his pumping or pulling or whatever, then you open this and remove the cup, see the level. The level needs to be at the maximum. And then that's how you will know. Now, if you see that the level is in the minimum, that could be why you receive that light. So you go ahead and add this specific fluid right here. This is the only fluid that you need to be adding into this car. By the fact, it's actually written in here. If you can read, it's actually written in here, Pentosin CHF 11S. That's it right here. So this is the only fluid that you need to add in there. Now, once you add it there, you can go ahead and test the car. Now, if that doesn't resolve the issue, the second thing that you have to do is open this cover and ensure that you change this relay right here. This is the old relay that I had there. I'm not sure if it was broken. I went ahead and ordered a new one and replaced it. Now, after doing those two things, that light did not come back up to today. And it has been one week since I've had the issue. Now, one thing that I've also done here is because the fluid that was there was actually old, what I've done is I actually, I don't want to say the word flush, but I replaced the fluid that was in the reservoir. Now, because this is a new bottle, it's still plenty of it in there. So what I've done is I've used this turkey thing to take out the fluid that's in the reservoir and add the new one. Then I use the pump to kind of level it and ensure that it was a proper measurement. Then I take the car on a test drive and it's working perfectly fine. 
to give you some perspective about the fluid that was in the smg pump reservoir this is the old fluid right here it's supposed to be dark green this is the old one and this is the a new fluid that i just put in this bottle for you to kind of see the difference if i come closer you will see that you can see that it is still green here but this one it's much 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 darker so this is what was in there and uh, this is actually the level that i, re I remove from that pump and then replace it with about the same level in the in the car if after doing these two steps the issue still remain now would be a good time for you to go ahead and take your car to a place where they can actually scan the ecu to see what type of code you get there depending on the code there are also sensors in there that might be faulty that you have to replace so those are the things that you can actually do to fix that issue whenever you have that issue it doesn't always mean that you have to replace your smg pump check those things first because chances are that could be the only issue that you have on the car i know that a lot of people say that the smg pump fell a lot it is kind of true but a lot of people sometimes misdiagnose that and just replace the pump to kind of address the issue that they have this is a quick tips that um, i'll show you right now so go ahead and do that if you have that specific issue and then if you have to change the pump go ahead and replace the pump and you might as well just do the you know manual conversion at that point if you have the funds because the car is always more fun whenever it is manual which is something that i'm actually going to do later in the future now i want to first enjoy the smg then future i'm going to definitely swap it to a six-speed manual now i hope you like this content you like this video you like the information that i share with you about how i fixed that specific issue with my e46 m3 if you did like the content please make sure that you like subscribe and then see you again on the next video thank you thank you thank you for watching see you on the next video bye bye